This is Snickers. He is a wire fox terrier. And today we are going to do his bath in a tub similar to what you might have at home. So we are going to turn on the water. And in his case, because he gets hand stripped, we are just going to wash his face, furnishings on his leg, and his rear end sanitary area. So after I get a little bit of water on him, what you can do is take any plastic bottle, if you don't have a dilution bottle, a mixing bottle, and you put the shampoo in some water so that it's easier to apply. So I'm gonna put that on his legs. I tilt his head up. I don't wanna get any in his eyes. However, this is a tearless shampoo. It still could potentially burn their eyes. So if you do get it in the eye, just rinse really good for 20, 30 seconds with water. Take a little small comb and get any kind of eye debris. And then sometimes the muzzle is a little dirty, so you could comb out that area. And then a little more shampoo. Stay away from the eyes, but you do want to get the muzzle really good. You can clean the ears out, but the thing is, if you don't want water to get in there, I've heard to put cotton balls, but um, they, send, they tend to shake and they come out, but a healthy ear seems like, because dogs swim, should be able to get a little water. You don't, of course, want to intentionally get any in there, but if it, if it does, I think it's okay. Main thing is not to get it in their eyes or to rinse immediately really good. So we've scrubbed his legs and his paw pads and rear end. And same thing, if there is any debris on there, you can use the comb and get that off of there. Turn the water back on. And rinse. I have seen different types of sprayers for sale if you don't have a sprayer that comes off of your shower head that attaches over the faucet, turns any regular bathtub type faucet into a sprayer. So those are probably online. It's not ideal bending down like this in the shower, but um, unless you had a bathtub that was taller, like um, freestanding or a laundry room sink, sometimes is at a better height. Or if you have a small dog, of course, a kitchen sink. And he is done for his bath. So thanks so much. And now we will towel dry him and let him shake it out, comb him out. And uh, you can use a home hair dryer as long as you're careful with the heat and that the dog tolerates it. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video.